I wanted to share kind of where I'm at with this project. What I'm doing is communicating with a Redline G3 HMI and I want to get that information into a ultimately a database. The first step to doing that is getting it into an OPC server and then I can convert it over from there. Uh, one of the challenges I ran into was how to get a string data over to an OPC server. So with the Redline they have their own OPC server software called OP OPC Works. Um, real simple to use. Unfortunately I could not get it to bring the data into Kepware which is uh, kind of the the one I, I'm locked into using because it's got all the modules I need. Um, and so what I wound up doing is using the regular Modbus TCP driver. Let me show you how it works. So I've got the uh, an OPC client here and uh, I'm building a string. So here's a string. I'm just going to put a bunch of ones in it. And what what, is it, what it does is pack uh, pack the bits as ASCII ASCII data. So the first character is a one. That's a, a 31, 31, 31. So just it just packs uh, two 8-bit bytes into one 16-bit word. And on the other side, it deconstructs it, and it does the deconstruction automatically. It just uh, kept where if you address the tag properly, it just addresses that. It reads that continuous uh, span of memory, and it just interprets it as an ASCII string. So if I go back here and I click my button, you see that this is the text it generates, and then it winds up here. So behind the scenes, it's actually transmitting all these numbers. For it starts out as individual characters, and it moves the characters into high and low bytes, and then it packs those into these registers. Uh, on the OPC setup, what that looks like is this. So here's the starting register right here, which is for 00010. The dot .20 means look for 20 registers, or 20 uh, bytes actually. I think it's 20 bytes, which is 10 registers. And then the H means it's in high-low order and then you set that as a string. If, if uh, t To do the testing I just had it reading all these registers and then verified it was the same as this. Uh, and you've got to you know, decide you, if you're looking at it in decimal or hex. It's easier to look at in hex because it winds up being two digits for each one digit up here. Anyway, uh, so that's pretty slick. It seems to work pretty well on the on the red line side. Uh, the guys at Redline already have the code as a sample, which speeds things up for you. Uh, just quick, it's just a program. There's several; they have several different versions. Of this. this is the most compact. It runs in a in a routine, uh, which is basically C code, their own ver flavor of C code. And then uh, then you map that over to your Modmesh register. So this is what it's doing. Anyway, I thought someone else would uh, appreciate seeing this. It's pretty exciting to finally get it to work. And uh, so I thought I'd make a video and put it up on YouTube. Thanks.